Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, is it safe for a cat to eat bugs? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats can safely eat flies, ants, moths, and other insects. Their digestive acids can even process bees as well as certain caterpillars. However, bees, ants, and wasps can sting your cat when they feel threatened. Some insects, like cockroaches and beetles, have tough exoskeletons that are hard to swallow and digest. As an owner, before you can protect your cat from harmful insects, it's important to understand why cats pursue bugs and insects in the first place. While it makes no sense to us, a cat's desire to hunt in this fashion is rather intense and instinctive. Here are just a few reasons as to why cats hunt and sometimes consume bugs. First up, diet. If a cat is hungry, especially a feline that lives off the land, bugs and insects are easy options and they're also high in protein. Next up, we have that desire to satisfy those hunting instincts. So much of the pursuit is just that. Cats quite often just can't leave well enough alone. It's instinctual. If a little critter is roaming across the ground, it can be hard for a cat to resist the hunt and the conquest. And finally, we have natural curiosity. Cats are naturally adventurous and playful. Curiosity, well, it, you know, it killed a cat, right? I mean, eh, it's a saying for a reason. And for better or worse, cats can weave a tangled web in this regard. When it comes to bugs, hey, they look interesting. Curiosity can engage a cat's hunting instincts. Yes, yes it is. Very normal, in fact. And while bugs and insects are certainly not an ideal meal, they do make for a healthy snack. That protein, as we mentioned earlier, almost like trail mix. Hmm. In some ways, bugs and insects are perfect for a feline. I mean, it's not often do you find a toy that you can eat. And in many ways, that's how cats view these little critters play things with a big payoff. While it can be a bit foul to watch your cat consume a bug or an insect, Unless your pet exhibits unusual symptoms in the aftermath, this process, if you will, is very much normal and natural. So, when does this normal and natural go wrong? What are some of the risks involved with eating bugs and insects? Let's first start off with those bites and stings. Those bees, wasps, hornets, and the like can present a real problem. And while typically minor, there's nothing pleasant at all about getting stung or bitten, especially inside the mouth. It should also be noted that allergic reactions are indeed possible with difficulty breathing, swelling and itchiness at the sting or bite location, drooling, diarrhea, and vomiting being just a few of the potential symptoms. Next we have the hard exoskeleton, most notably beetles, cockroaches, and moths. All of these can cause a potential choking hazard and in some cases disrupt a cat's proper digestion. And here again, this topic as a whole doesn't exactly paint the mental pictures of roses and rainbows, but hang in there if you would. <laughs> Other concerns and uh, ones that should not be taken lightly involve parasites and diseases, and also the ingestion of poisons due to insecticides. If your cat comes in contact with a bug or insect that has been sprayed with chemicals, or at the very least encountered chemicals, you know, like rubbed against them or walked through them, this could pose a major threat to your feline. And speaking of toxic, some bugs and insects are simply toxic by nature and can have an adverse effect on your cat's system, most notably gastrointestinal concerns. Caterpillars, fireflies, spiders, and stink bugs each can promote illness in your pet. Vomiting, diarrhea, and difficulty breathing are common symptoms. Black widow spiders, for example, are extremely dangerous and can cause death if consumed. This is why it's always wise and advised to hire a professional exterminator to eliminate any and all pests in your home. If for no other reason than to keep your cat safe, 
just in case one of your pet's curious adventures proves dire. As we know, it's not always about the stalk and the hunt. Sometimes little critters will find your cat first and just latch on. Fleas, lice, ticks, and mites are prime examples. Unfortunately, all of these feed on your cat. They also carry a myriad of diseases that can lead to serious health issues. This is why it's critical to take the necessary steps to eliminate these nasty carriers at the very first sign. Regular vet checkups with a routine flea treatment can go a long way, as most problems of this nature can be spotted very early on. The quicker, the better, as a proper diagnosis can lead to a faster treatment. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. Because this video wasn't exactly dinner-friendly material, there are several items of note that have been excluded simply because we love you. <laughs> Questions and concerns about cockroaches, mosquitoes, silverfish, caterpillars, moths, bumblebees, dead beads, and ants have been addressed and covered over at the aforementioned SeniorCatWellness.com. So once again, please utilize the initial link in the description box below for more information. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.